Here we go then. The players of Ipswich Town and Exeter City emerge from the tunnel and are greeted by a wall of noise generated by a vociferous home support, almost 30,000 strong. This is the hottest ticket in town. Martin Broadhead had to turn away and think of another option. He was looking to return that to Leif Davis, was Nathan Broadhead. This time he returns it to Sam Moore. See Connor Chaplin pocket the space, 25 yards out. Chaplin left for the drive! Connor Chaplin sets Ipswich on their way! What a wonderful goal on a wonderful occasion from town star man Connor Chaplin! What a hit! Do flying down the right here at Portman Road. In comes the throw from Hartridge. Ipswich win the initial contact. Mitchell Caprice just inside the penalty area. Mitchell once more, and Walton has to get down well to parry it away. Defenders, and it might break for Hurst here inside the penalty area. Luongo into the box. It's two! It's two for Ipswich Town! And it's Massimo Luongo! He has been a revelation since his winter arrival in IP1. And Massimo Luongo has doubled Town's lead. Here is Sam Morsi. Luongo just inside the Ipswich half and he's released Broadhead down the left here. And now Nathan Broadhead will drive towards the Exeter penalty area. Can he find the pass? It's yeah. turned in! It's turned in! Well, it was Town's most famous number 27 who helped to secure their last promotion. And just under a quarter of a century later, Town's latest number 27 has added a third here today. George Hurst. It's magic from Broadhead. Broadhead, he's been trying to get the ball in this number 10 pocket. So he can't receive the ball, so he just spins and makes a run in behind. We play from Wolfenden to step away from Josh Coley. Loose touch from Hartridge and Ipswich could be in again here. Here's Connor Chaplin. Burns will get there ahead of Caprice, will he? goes down with Burns penalty. and penalty been awarded yeah just Burns too quick Broadhead against Gary Woods Broadhead is a blue and he might be firing blues to the cusp of promotion to the Skybet Championship yeah it's a short run up and he's just whipped it in the top corner it's a brilliant penalty. It's a penalty that just shows the confidence that's running through him at the moment and the confidence that the whole team's got. It's Broadhead down the left. Broadhead delivers in, headed away by Sweeney. Straight up in the air, actually, and Hurst will challenge Hartridge for it. Chaplin! Championship bound. Ipswich Town make it five. Oh, I winced because it was horrible. The two set the half saw headed each other and just teed up Chaplin. And there's the one man in this league you don't want to give the ball to in the 18 yard box is Chaplin. And this time on his right foot just drills it in. I can't see anyone taking that golden boot off him. Just and Davis, Morsin Luongo operating in midfield. And Chaplin's looking to release Burns down the right hand side. Burns has beaten his man. It's Burns! It's six! Switch Town 6, Exeter City 0, and the Blues have picked up from where they left off. Yeah, if you want to know how to play a through ball in the air, just have a look at Chappers. He receives the ball so his body's open so he can play it. He then plays it with a little bit of check because they've watered it at half time so it doesn't skid through to the goalie. The ball checks nicely. Burns is just too quick and too strong and he just dings it over the goalie. It's a brilliant goal. And look at the fans again, they're just going mental. If you're not on Portman Road, get down here and wait for everyone to leave because it's going to be kicking off. It's going to be amazing. Five. And it's given Ipswich the opportunity to drive forward. And oh my goodness me, there's almost a, a calamitous own goal. Jonathan Grounds just tried to play it back to his goalkeeper. But he wrong footed Gary Woods. Crosses the halfway line and finds Ladapo left hand side. Stood up by Ameson and Sweeney. Ladapo into the penalty area, right for his shot, into the side netting. Yeah, Ladapo looks sharp. Might not even hear the final whistle at this rate. It's done. Get in. That's it. It's all over. And this is Towns time.
a decade of discontent, disillusion and disconnect has just been swept away by marvellous McKenna and his band of Blues Brothers. The four-season exile is over. Ipswich have propelled themselves back into the second tier of English football and this sleepy Suffolk giant has awoken from its slumber. The new owners, the manager, the coaches, the club staff and this remarkable group of players have been the game changers as a town has fallen in love with its football club again. The scenes of sunlit celebration are a sight to behold. And for just the seventh time since Ipswich Town's election to the Football League back in 1938, promotion has been achieved.